There are to be found here in the Bay Area. And they are standing right in front of you right now. Our good darling. Woo! It's right. <laughs> Put out your hand. Put out your hand. <laughs> <laughs> now, so you got some stand up comedy from these guys, and you got me. <laughs> there you go. There you go, my ego. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Let's do a little stand-up comedy. What do you say? Huh? Hang on, yeah. What do you say, huh? Whoa, whoa. Are your nipples hard, man? Oh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> It's just, that's how I was built. <laughs> all right, baby, all right. <laughs> well, why don't we start out with, start out with you there, Al? Little stand-up comedy, all right? <laughs> what the fuck was that? That was what? What's wrong with your nipples? They're not hard. You can't all be hard like Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, give it up. Adam, come on. So what you got? <laughs> doctors, I... Doctors, I have little patience. <laughs> For doctors, I have little patience. I'm the head director of a pediatrician's clinic, so it kind of works out. <laughs> Alec Jones Trujillo. He's one of the funniest guys I've ever met. I mean, everything he says cracks me up. So then I turn around and I'm like, 6.5% APR financing, not on my watch. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I like it. <laughs> you know, we spend just about every day together. He's easily my best friend. <laughs> I'm not getting in this pool until it's two degrees warmer. He's the sweetest, most humble guy I've ever met. I know because he lives in my closet. I guess in a way, I live in his room. Oh, my dad's a butterface. <laughs> when I was young, my dad 
dad was a butterface as well. But he's got a tight little body. <laughs> his, his shoulders, his back. What's a butterface? Well, from my understanding, um, from the neck down, tight little body. But up top, it's, it's not so, not so hot. It's, it's, it's like when everything's hot but her face, then she's butter face. <laughs> Here's my impression of a very dramatic vulture. <laughs> The one thing I want to eat, I can't. Because true love never dies. <laughs> so this is Donnie, Bonian. He's uh, my housemate and my best friend. And you know, even though I live with a bunch of other friends of mine, even back when I lived with my girlfriend, before she done me, you know, I used to come home and it's like, oh, is Megan home? Cool, cool, but is Donnie home? And if Donnie was home, it's just a big smile on my face. I knew we could talk and laugh. And for me, it's easier to talk with Donnie than like my own mom. And that's when I realized, I was like, I need to get a funnel. <laughs> <laughs> One time I took Donnie up north to my folks' house in Weaverville. I took him to this little swimming hole in the river, and it just blew his mind. I mean, he was totally out of his element. So you yeah. gotta yeah, check this out. A couple of Batman posters. Something involved in a house, tomatoes with up top. Down here, entrepreneurs. <laughs> There's this little trail that goes down to the swimming hole, and like the whole way down, Donnie was just so tentative. He was like, well, is this poison oak? Well, what, what about that? Are you sure I can step on that rock? Alec Jones Trujillo, um, also he's one of the funniest guys I know, and uh, when it comes to comedy, he'll try anything, and I, I just love that about him. By the time we got down to the swimming hole, I went up to the highest rock and dove right in the water, trying to show off, and Donnie just wouldn't do it, he was too scared. But finally, like, after two hours of taking around all the smaller rocks and giving all these little pet talks, he finally went up to that tallest rock and dove in. I was just real proud of him. I also like to dive off of rocks into the water. <laughs> Never really been invited to join the guys. Oh. Sure, it's more of a two-person activity. <laughs> I got a lot of plans, like for my life and stuff, like things I'm going to do with it. <laughs> but all my plans involve Donnie. <laughs> there are certain things in life we know about ourselves that no one else does, destiny. But it's so fragile. It's so fragile and fragile. And if you don't take care of it, Beyonce Knowles will try to steal it. <laughs>